All right, we are here at No Limits uh, by Inquarter in San Francisco, and look who I have with me, co-founder and CEO of Explain, Hassan. Welcome to the Ravid Show. It is such a pleasure to host you today, and I'm excited to talk a lot around AI. Uh, you just did your talk as well, so would love to know about that. But just for our audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself, tell us more about what Explain does? Sure, happy to. Thank you for having me. It's nice to meet you as well. Uh, yeah, Explain is uh, actually a platform. It's a marketplace as well as a development platform for AI solutions. Right. So in essence, if you want to build any kind of solution, uh, you go to explain to find 40,000 uh, models and AI agents, as we call them, so yep. that you can actually put them together into, into a solution which is relevant to your business. So this is what explain is. And we're combining uh, technologies from all over all over the, uh, the the space. I mean, from large corporations like uh, Meta, Google, it, uh, OpenAI, and so forth, all the way down to individual uh, AI specialists, which are building awesome technology and putting it on display. Yeah. Okay, that's uh, pretty good. And uh, thanks for sharing those details. Uh, quickly, wanted to also want to learn a little about. Uh, I saw your talk. You mentioned a lot about uh, bridging the gap as well. Mm -hmm. So, kind of curious to learn about how you can elaborate on the key challenges companies face when you know trying to transform AI uh, fascination into the commercial viability. It's one of the tasks that I feel. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, how are you all solving that? So there's multiple uh, categories of challenges. Uh, one challenge is actually, um, it is easy for you to take a chat, uh, a, 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 like a chatbot for example, right. an experiment. Yeah. Everyone can do it and, and, and this is good because then we know what, what is possible. Taking that experience which you have using a chat GPT, chat GPT for example, uh, to experiment with, yeah. and taking it live into something which is relevant to the business is a yet another step where you need to worry about uh, interoperability about technologies, for right. example. You have right. to worry about data and its, uh, uh, where is it hosted, privacy, and all of that, and et cetera, et cetera. So this makes it all very complicated. This is one category of complication. Yep. Another co uh, category of complication is innovation happens by a lot of experimentation. The more you can experiment, the more you can innovate. True. And building these systems can actually be quite hard. So being able to like do that with a graphic user interface or with a simple tools is something which is what we wrote for ourselves to be to be a goal. So you can actually five times, ten times build ten times more experimentation frameworks or like experimentation systems. Where right. You can see is that going to basically have an impact for you or not? So this is this is something which uh, is, is another uh, complexity. The third one is of course, I mean um, uh, policies and I mean data itself is critical on how to be how to be managed. True. The, and when you are running just an experiment with let's say ChatGPT or Claude or others you can actually, you don't need to worry too much about this. You can experiment, but then when you need to implement it, you need to basically be worrying about how is the data flowing? Is it okay? Is it not okay? Um, am I uh, um, overstepping certain boundaries by me, for example, mm. uh, sending data in which might not belong to me, copyright-wise, right. etc. Et right. So you need to be uh, always like um, on the, on the, on the lookout for these kinds of the topics. governance and the policies kind of yes. play, uh, come into the game where you kind of you know being responsible for what about is for feeding in exactly, exactly. so yeah. that's that's pretty uh, good point there also yeah. just on this topic itself I know uh, since the last few years we've seen AI evolving so much yes so kind of curious you mentioned about evolution of AI into network of agents can yes. you explain what do you mean by this and how it impacts innovation and operational efficiencies very good good very good so um, in the past we were basically building systems on solutions by basically saying uh, we, we need to figure out basically the architecture of a system where we say um, data comes in from from a certain location you send it through a, a module which 
transforms the data into something else, and then from there to another module which transforms it yet again, etc. So solutions have to be handcrafted to 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 do it. To Very do important, exactly. right? The the problem is when you do that, um, you have to worry about all the edge cases, all the problems which might come to you, and then basically say, oh, when something is outside what I'm expecting, deal with it a certain way. The problem is with all, all these AI capabilities, we have now infinite amounts of, uh, 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 like, um, what is it called, degrees of freedom. Right. So that edge cases are infinite. Uh, so we need to actually think about a different way of doing it, where you basic, and, and this is basically where the agent framework comes in. Instead of basically coding what agents have to do, like step by step in a sequential manner, you go in into that agent and say, there is an orchestrator in that agent. That orchestrator can, depending on what the query is and the request and the need is, can actually um, source mm. and employ other agents to help it with a certain problem. Hence, it's like an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur, what, how, how is, it, is that entrepreneur good? Usually by em employing the right people to do the right jobs. True. The True. finance person for finance, the technology person for technology, etc., etc., etc. Here, the agent does the same thing. Uh, it basically figures out, oh, the quest needs more something in a certain way. You basically employ the right agents together, give them a task, give them a, st a strategy, and make sure that the agent framework takes care of it right. instead of you needing to hard code it. Love it. Uh, thanks for that explanation. And obviously, the, uh, we have seen the evolution, and now we are in the agent's world. So kind of yes. enjoying it. We are in this. I always talk to so many enterprise leaders, and they're like, we are in this interesting times where things are changing very massively, but also changing for good. Yes. There's no replacement of human in the game, no, but uh, exactly. you know, it's going to make us more smarter in 100%. many more ways. 100%. Um, also, yeah. quickly, since we are here at Incorta's event, I'm kind of curious to know a little about the partnership. How is Incorta? integrating their uh, you know systems with explain I'm yep. kind of wanting to learn a little about that as well and how is explain helping in quarter to get to the next level okay happy to talk about this so explain is helping them basically uh, being to some extent the meta cloud service mm. where actually they don't need to worry about um, if they want to experiment with different l large language models they don't need to basically um, worry about how do I integrate one language model versus the other language model versus the third language model? Because if you need to focus on each individual language model, you have to worry about each individual language model spe special uh, way of integration, True. And way to use. True. And because we are basically daily seeing new language models, I mean, there is no end in no end in sight for this. So what they are basically doing, they're using Explain as a as an abstraction layer on top of other um, uh, machine learning models and they can actually then focus on the business logic, f focus on what does our user need and focus on building that and then allow uh, for them then to change with a, but with a click of a button right. um, language model A versus language model B or one model versus the other model for other things. So this is basically how we are collaborating so we believe that Incorta, for for the domains they're covering, is yep. an excellent uh, partner to to exactly do that. We are actually more a horizontal yeah. fr uh, platform where we basically need partners, strong partners like Incorta, to get into the different verticals um, like like this. And I saw the uh, you know obviously um, uh, Osama's keynote as well, yeah. your talk, and I see you all fitting in so well with each other in yeah. terms of you know obviously the outcome for the customers, the joint customers, it's going to be huge. Yes. So I can't wait for that. Uh, thanks for sharing the details. Also quickly, since we are here, I want to also learn a little about the future. And this is always my favorite <laughs> question because in the AI world that we are living in, we don't know next no. day what's going to happen. Future can be just tomorrow. Yes, exactly. Or can be in like a year or can be in 10 years. Exactly. True. So yeah, ki yeah. kind of curious to learn about what future trends do you foresee in AI landscape and how should companies prepare to stay ahead uh, of the curve. Yeah. Any any thoughts? 
So in general, I think we are going to be able, in particular with this agent way of thinking, we're going to start being able to like deal with problems which were too big for us to chew and solve in the past right. in AI. Yeah. So this is very exciting. Healthcare and other things, I mean, are we going to be able to solve much bigger problems than we have? So this is basically what I'm seeing. Now, how do we need to prepare? We need to still think uh, like um, we need to s still think in, uh, in in how do you call that in uh, with an engineering mind on it, but yeah, not necessarily, yeah. but not necessarily know the details on how to program. It's programming Python is is good. Let's continue doing that, but it's not the only way to basically in innovate with AI, which is a great way. Which means people who are not typically the engineers and so forth are coming to the table to innovate with us on some of the solutions, yeah. which is beautiful to see. So let's see what comes. I mean, and, and this is going to be probably a year, not 10 years. I don't know what 10 years is going to bring. You're <laughs> right. You're right. Oh, too, fantastic. Too, too far out. Too far out. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Okay. So also, I'm pretty sure our audience would love to know more about Explain. Where can they reach out to yep. you? Is LinkedIn a best place? Where can they find resources about Explain as well? Uh, can you tell, tell our sure, audience? Sure, happy to. So LinkedIn is a great place I mean, to, okay. get, to reach out to us, definitely. Um, you can also immediately go into the website and log in and experiment. I mean, we nice. allow everyone to sign up. Uh, it costs nothing. Uh, if you basically start building uh, solutions which need, you pay as you go. Yeah. So we're making it super easy. We have today more than 10,000 users on the platform. Wow. And we're seeing them innovating um, in a fast pace. I, I love to see that the more people come, the more they're benefiting. I'd like to hear anyone's feedback on what they think of it. If there's models which are missing, we're, right now it's 40,000. I know we could have 10 times more, but yes. we'd like to learn from the community, the community. What, what they need. Bring, bring it. Let's uh, let's tackle it together. Lovely, and that's how I think uh, you know you build great products too, with all the great feedback that you exactly. get and you implement. So this was great. Thanks for your time today, Asan. It was such a pleasure to chatting with you, and I'm definitely looking forward to learning more about Explain. I'll share the link with our audience so you all can check it out too. Thanks, Perfect. Asan. Thank you very much. Thanks. Such for a pleasure. Me. Nice yeah. to meet you.